Hello guys. Okay, so I'm first going to start out with my face makeup and I'm using a NYX BB cream and I'm putting that all over my face and it's a little bit paler than my natural skin tone because I want to wash my face out like the Mad Hatter. And then I'm just going to use my Sonia Kashuk concealer to uh, cover up all the redness and discoloration. So I'm just going to use that and apply that with a concealing brush. And then once I am done with that, I am going to highlight <laughs> using my Age Rewind concealers. And I'm using two shades of these concealers, and the one is to cover my under eye circles, and it's the more tan one. And the lighter one is as a highlighter on my cheekbones and my nose. And then I'm just going to use my concealer brush and just make sure I blend all of that underneath my eyes and on top of my cheekbones. So I'm now going to prime my eyes with my Max Painterly Paint Pot Primer before I do this crazy eye makeup. And then I'm going to use my Makeup Forever HD powder to white out my face and to set my foundation. So I'm going to use a fluffy brush for that. And then I'm going to use this MAC Aqua Blue color and putting that all over my lid because the Mad Hatter has a solid blue foundation for their eye makeup. And then I'm applying this hot pink color from my outer crease and blending it toward my inner eye and I'm just blending that all together with the blue but at the same time you want one end to be hot pink and one to be blue. So now I'm going to use this orange color from NYX and I'm going to use an angled brush and sweep that underneath my water lines and then I am going to blend that and the pink together with a fluffy brush to make sure it all looks whole. And that is the eyeshadow. And now we are going to move on to the lashes. I'm going to use a purple mascara for my top lashes because the Mad Hatter has crazy makeup and I thought what would be any more better than a colored mascara. So then I'm going to use a bright blue mascara for my bottom lashes and then I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with that same orange eyeshadow because the Mad Hatter has orange thick eyebrows. So I'm going to do that and I thought that added that Mad Hatter feel to the makeup look. And then I'm just going to put my gel for my eyebrows in my eyes so that way my eyebrows stay one shape all night. And then I'm going to finish off the look with this super bright blush because the Mad Hatter is pale with crazy eye makeup and crazy blush. And then I'm just going to put on this bright hot pink lipstick and then that will basically finish the entire look. And this is my Mad Hatter crazy amazingly awesome makeup. So I'm first going to start by cutting 3x12 cardstock and I'm going to cut that out with my handy nifty scissor tool knife thing which is awesome and then I'm just going to roll it into this little roll thing like that and use some masking tape just to keep that in shape and then I'm going to take a candle which is slightly bigger than that circle I made and go over another circle on some cardstock and cut that out as the top of my little Mad Hatter hat. And then I'm just going to use a glue gun and go on the edges and also apply some glue onto that circle that we just cut out. And make sure that those are stuck together and press that onto your other circle so that way it doesn't move anywhere. And then I'm just going to go along the outer edges with the glue gun to make sure it's all secure and in place and doesn't move around. So now I'm going to use my glue gun and put the glue on the edges of the circle that we cut out and roll it onto this green fabric I got because I decided to have a green Mad Hatter hat. You can use any fabric you want but I thought the green was very Mad Hatter and you're just going to roll it around into that fabric and it's okay if there's a lot of extra fabric because you can just cut it off. And I'm going to make sure I glue that shut and cut off all the excess fabric and tuck in the excess fabric into the hole of my hat. And now I'm going to use the same candle to trace out another circle and I'm going to glue that on top of the area that didn't get covered by the fabric. Now I will be gluing some bias tape onto the top part of my hat and this makes it look more neater and the edges look more put together and it's a good finish for any edge or top part of anything on this hat.
So then I will bend some wire in the shape of a circle a little bit bigger than the top part of my hat that I made. And then I'm just simply going to use masking tape to hold the wire in the circle shape that I shaped it to be. And then once I'm done doing that, I'm going to use some hot glue to stick the same green fabric I used before but onto this bottom part. And I'm just going to keep putting the glue around the wire and cut excess fabric and just keep gluing and sticking the fabric onto the circle and I'm just going to keep doing that and doing the same thing over and over until the fabric covers the entire circle on one side and then I'm just going to cut off excess fabric but then you'll see one side looks good and one side looks super scrappy so I'm just going to cut with excess fabric another circle to place onto the part that onto the side that doesn't look as good as the other side so I'm just going to put that fabric fabric there and then I'm going to do what I did on the hat and use bias tape and glue that onto the edges of this bottom part of the hat because it just finishes it off and makes it look neater than it would if I didn't use it. So then I'm going to add this thick blue ribbon to the middle part of the hat and I'm going to cut that off and glue it with the hot glue gun and then I'm just going to hot glue the hat I made to this simple black headband which I got from a Halloween store and that is how you make the hat guys. Now Alice doesn't have the tightest of curls so I did do some tight curls onto my hair extensions and my natural hair and I did not hairspray them so that they would fall into like a voluminous, layery kind of um, blowout look so I definitely suggest to not spray them um, but they look good for now but they will look just like Alice later and I'm going to pin my bangs to the side of my ear so that when I put in my cute bow headband my um, hairs will stay placed right behind my ear and now I'm just hairspraying them for just extra support and that is the hair And now I'm going to show you how to do this cute apron and it's very simple and easy. I just bought some black ribbon from Hobby Lobby and I'm just cutting that and placing that into a cute little bow and cutting off the ends and gluing that into the center and the top of the apron. And to create a cute little fun little girl look, I am just going to add some buttons I also purchased at Hobby Lobby and I'm just lining up four of them down and I am taking some black lace I also purchased at Hobby Lobby and I am just gluing those to the pockets to add a little bit of an Alice flair. So I'm going to tell you guys where I got my Mad Hatter outfit from and I got my scarf from Amazon, my orange jacket from Blair.com, my two skirts, I am wearing two skirts, I have the green one from Target, the blue underneath from a costume store, my tights from a costume store and yeah that's where I got my costume. This Alice costume is very easy to recreate. Just use a blue dress, a light blue dress that you own because the front isn't going to matter. You're just going to place an apron on top of it anyways. And I'm using the apron that I also got from Amazon along with my light blue dress. And I am using white stockings from the Halloween store and these costume Black Mary Jane looking shoes. And the headband is from Amazon. Alrighty guys, that was our Alice in Wonderland and Mad Hatter look video. Also comment below any more videos you'd like to see us do and give this video a big thumbs up if you really liked it and want more videos from this fall series. See you guys!